What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of From the Tips. It is part two of the video of the date in the life. Um, so just made it to the course. I'm filming the uh, day of eating and training as well. So I'm kind of intertwining these videos a little bit. So I'm gonna go to the golf course now. I'm gonna show you guys kind of what I do as far as breaking down my practice goes. Um, so I'm gonna be here for a couple hours. I'm going to start off with putting, show you guys kind of my favorite putting drills, um, stuff that you guys can do it from home, um, a couple of the training aids I use, then I'm going to go on to short game, show you guys some of my chipping drills I do, and then eventually we're going to get on to full swing. I don't spend that much time on full swing, guys. I really just try to focus on putting and chipping. That's kind of the, the biggest scoring opportunities in golf is if you're a really good short game player, typically you're going to score really well. and. I consider myself a decent ball striker as it is, so I don't focus too, too much on the full swing. Um, so I'll show you guys my favorite drills, and then when I get onto full swing, it's gonna be mostly technique based, just make sure my technique's sharp. I have a tournament coming up in a couple weeks, so I wanna be sharp for that, and um, so I'll see you guys out there. All right, guys, so first drill I start off with is just about getting your putts starting online. So uh, it's a really simple drill. Uh, and you can just use a really cheap uh, training aid for this. So I picked up a yardstick just at my local Home Depot. Um, just paid a couple dollars for it. And this yardstick specifically has a little hole in one of the sides. So it's meant to be kind of hung up on a wall. But it's a perfect spot to put a golf ball. And it won't move. So all I'm doing is just putting it down the alignment stick. If it falls off to either the left or the right, I know I'm either pushing or pulling my putts. So I roll those a couple times, and then I eventually put a tee down. Uh, start training your eyes to actually looking at a target while you're doing this. Um, it really helps um, trying to read breaks and just knowing that you're starting the ball online. Next putting drill I do, you can see me setting it up. So putter length is about three feet. So I put a putter length far side of the hole and then um, another tee putter length close to the hole. And this is a downhill putt. And I'm just trying to get the ball to stop somewhere between that six foot circle. So three feet short or three feet long. Um, just cause I know that's a gimme range. So I'm just working on my pace here. Not necessarily trying to make the putt, just trying to hit it with proper speed. We already looked, worked on our uh, alignment and starting the ball online. So now we just need to work on the pace. So we're just working on downhills. And then eventually I do move into the uphill putts. So for the uphill putts, same thing. It's gonna be a T long and a T short. For whatever reason lately with uphill putts i've been leaving a lot of stuff short as you can see there um, barely made across the first tee and then we have the one the only mr tommy fairways next to me he's just betting that i can't make it so obviously i just had to um just bury one right in his face i know i'm digging further for you And then the next drill, I set up two tees. So the closest tee to the hole is going to be for a firmer paced putt. And after I hit that, I work on the outside tee, which is meant for a dying paced putt. And I do this on a couple of different hole locations, just practicing my pace control and alignment. And then I move on to the chipping green. I know it's kind of hard to tell. There's a lot of people chipping at this time, but I'm going to be on the far right-hand side of the line, and I'm aiming for this closest to the flag um, to the camera and I'm just trying to get every chip within about a six foot circle and I switch wedges um, after I hit 10 shots and whichever balls I don't get within that six foot circle I have to repeat with the same club that I missed with until I get every single chip within that six foot circle. All right, in the next drill I'm doing, I'm just working on the ladder drill. So it's a really basic drill, guys. So you start off hitting a wedge, and every shot 
you have to try to hit further than the shot before. So you start off a little partial shot wedges, and then you eventually move into more full swing wedges, and then eventually into irons. And the whole goal is to eventually make your way all the way up to driver. Um, it's a really good drill for distance control and just controlling kind of how hard you're hitting the golf ball. Um, it's just a really great drill that I practice a lot and it helps you get really dialed in with that 100 yard range. And then here guys, I set up to one flag. So this one in this one specifically is roughly about 150 yards. So I'm hitting a seven iron with range balls and I'm just trying to get them all within about a 10 yard radius of the hole. So within 30 feet And here, I got into a little bit of a groove. I think I hit six or seven in a row. So decided to include it in the video, but um, I'm just really just working on um, just slowing my tempo down. It's, a lot of times I get really quick on the way down, but here uh, I was getting into a really good groove. So I decided to include it in the video. And then I eventually kind of hit like a little yank draw off to the left. So there goes my little streak. And then, of course, what would a from the tips vlog be without just bombing some drives? Sure. Thank you. All right, guys. So the rain dissipated a little bit. So uh, practice is good and all, but uh, let's go play some golf, huh? guys would have definitely liked to hit that birdie but what are you gonna do it's starting to get really really miserable out here um so it's getting really hard to hold on to the clubs so probably just gonna call it a day i uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video kind of watching a day in the life of uh me practicing me playing kind of the different things i'm working on in my golf game uh, if you guys did please hit that like button please hit that subscribe button and please hit that bell notification icon so you don't miss out on any of my new videos until next time guys peace